hi everyone welcome back to another video this video was requested i'll be doing a roller set in this video on my client with relax hair so right now i have well i've already relaxed her hair and trim her hair wet and now i'm setting her hair so i'm just i put some mousse in it some nairobi mousse and i'm just combing that through I'm just making sure I get the hairline as you know you want that hairline I won't be putting any heat so I want the hairline to be smooth as possible right now I'm just combing out the baby hair because I don't want to put any tension on them while I'm rolling I don't want to have to try I don't want to have to be trying to get them onto the roller so I just comb them out altogether so right now I'm making my first section and as you can see I'm combing through I'm combing the ends first and combing the roots and making sure that the hair is combed through smoothly now what I'm doing here is just to see if my roller is is perfect for my section so I'm doing an unbased roller setting which I always do so I'm making so what I did just now is to make sure that the roller is the same size as the section will be okay perfect same size so what i'm doing now i'm combing the hair through from root to end make sure that root is a very um comb through and smooth i am over directing the hair placing my roll my hair onto my roller and turning my roller just like so so as you can see that roller is directly on base right and my clips are going on base as well at the bottom so you can see that roller is firm 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 nothing pulling over or under that's what you want to have your roller going through with the other section as you can see i'm combing the hair properly what i some mistake i see some people do or what i see some people don't do is to not comb through the roots properly so the ends are nice and straight and the roots are not smooth so what i'm doing is i'm going putting another prep roller right there because i want somebody at the top and i'm just doing the same thing putting the clips exactly where i put the first ones and that's that perfectly on base can you see that guys yes so that's that i'm going through to do the same thing and you guys what you can do is keep a water bottle close by so if the hair in the event the hair get dry too quickly you can you can um see i'm going up with another with a bigger size roller which is the gray roller so then i would have to measure my section as well to see if the roller is the same size as my section because that's how it should be so perfect I have the size and I am just going to make sure that the ends are nice and smooth onto the roller before I start turning it keep equal tension because you don't want the the hair to be sliding off of the roller so keep a good amount of tension while you're rolling so can you see that perfect You guys clean clean parting for roller setting is not very very important okay but try to keep your part as clean as possible but it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day you're going to want to um comb out the the roller marks so i'm just going through and i'm keeping my elevation not dropping my hand too much because i want to make sure the roller sit directly on base and when i say on base i'm referring to i want the roller to sit directly onto the section and not off of it road going onto the next roller section i don't want that i don't want my roller to be impeding the other roller you know from having its place so put it this way every roller have a place in life so every roller have a place on the head 
so you don't want to be um allowing your roller to drop on the other roller space you get me <laughs> yeah so just keep that tension and keep over directing that is going to be key when you want to do a proper neat roller set over direction over direct and make sure your sections is as big or as little as your roller and as you can see the, the sections are very very smooth and the hair on the roller are smooth so what I'm going to do right here now I finish my middle row I'm very sorry about um, that the top of our head is cut off at this moment please bear with me you guys I will get better at this <laughs> okay so what I did just now was to measure the roller to the side of her head what I'm doing right there is putting a little bit more mousse because I felt like none was was at that um, area so what I want to do is to go in first on that side the middle section right there and I'm combing up over directing as usual And remember guys keep the tension right throughout the rolling of the, the roller You guys, I did not speed up this part because I wanted to make sure that this video is in real time so you can see exactly what I do and the speed at which I'm doing it. Right now, you know, while you're rolling the hair, you always want to guide the hair on the roller. You don't want it to be coming off. Over directing, combing through, making sure the roots are nice and smooth as the ends. I'm doing that. I'm now guiding the hair onto the roller, making sure it's smooth and putting it right into place. And now I'm pinning. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I am using my water bottle just to wet the hair because it has been dried out a bit. And I'm doing the very same thing on this side that I had done on the other side. Measuring the roller. And you know guys, over time, you, you don't need to measure roller anymore. You're going to just know um, 
um your rollers you're going to know the size of your rollers you're going to also know what size should your parting or your sections be so i'm just measuring the rollers because of this video and i want you guys to see how i used to do it before i get you know before i get bird's eye when it's a bird's eye i mean i'm able to see you know what roller i will need for what section so you will if you're a beginner you will be able to do that as well but um starting out you're going to want to measure your rollers because you don't want your section to be bigger than your roller no you just don't want that and you don't want to set your client and the roller is all over the place if they're if they walk the roller is flapping all about you don't want that you want nice neat firm rollers and as a result you're getting nice um finish when you when you when you roll your rollers nicely so i'm just guiding that here to make sure that the hair is perfect on the roller i don't want any hair falling off You guys, roller setting is one of my fave. Like, I like to roller set. I love the result. And it's just cool. It's it's fun. Also, um, if you ever have a client with um, damage hair or um, they're trying to get their hair back, if it's if it has been breaking it's like a protein it's like a moisture it's always good to go in with a roller setting as opposed to a blow dryer also for your relaxed client well for my relaxed clients i tend to do roller set for them because it just makes the hair look more um shiny it's it just it makes the hair feels good once your hair is relaxed, the, the relaxer is already breaking bonds of the hair. You don't want direct heat to be breaking more bonds of the hair. So going under a dryer that is indirect heat is, is good. I know that a lot of people don't like the torture chair. A lot of people call it that because I personally don't like a dryer. However, it is good for your hair. So I know some of my clients, I cannot talk them into going under the dryer, but I still try. <laughs> yes. Guiding that here onto the roller. Perfect, and this is it. Nice and shiny, um, firm on base roller setting. Now I put her under dryer. I think she dried for forty-five minutes, thereabout. So this is it, you guys. After she was out of the dryer, I'm taking out the rollers. Can you see how the rollers are still on base? They're still firm. They have not dropped. That's what you want when you're doing your roller setting. I like to just get a little some drops of oil and I just make sure I put it on my fingertips just to get the scalp and give a little massage. Then I get my paddle brush and I just brush that because I want to, I brush for a while because I want to um, get out as much of, of the roller marks that I can 
because I will not be putting heat on her at all. I will not be using a flat iron or any hot tool. So I just, I'm wrapping her hair around to get out a little of the bounce because if you were just to take out the rollers and just style it like that, it would be a little bigger. So you can decide whether you want a lot of lot of body or you just want a little volume which I was going for just a little volume so I'm just um, brushing out the roller marks finish off with the with the paddle brush I'm using a, a softer brush just to smooth it a bit Mm -hmm. I'm just wrapping that with um, a satin scarf and just let it sit for a while. Or you can put her under the dryer and cool for five minutes. I just think, I just find that that brings up the shine a bit more and I like doing it. So now I'm just combing her out. Can you see that? That's that's zero hot tools. Just the dry and the rope, a proper roller set, and you are good to go once your hair is relaxed. Now I'm just putting a little polish on her hair, just to to calm down those flyaways and stuff. And this is the final look, you guys. That is it. That's her. She was she's 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 um camera shy, y'all. She didn't want to look up really. So thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching all of this video. <laughs> I do hope you learned something from this video. And for my beginners, you guys, you got this. Okay, so thank you guys for subscribing and Turn on your notification bell so whenever I post a video, you guys can be the first to see it. And thank you for the love, y'all. And don't forget to share and like my videos. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching.